Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Maple Farm. This is a map by Cavalier Roy. This is 100.85 megabytes to download for all platforms. Uh, so I'm just going to start off by reading off what it says in the mod hub, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look around. So uh, in the mod hub, it says, Welcome to Maple Farm. This is a fictional Irish map that offers vast amounts of forestry as well as arable farming with multiple farms spread around the map for those who like to spread out or play multiplayer. Farmyards are fully customizable, so you can demolish all sheds and barns, cut away all hedges, trees, and remove all walls, fences, and gates. There's 128 fields, all included missions, and seven farms. Uh, it said a special thank you, I think is what it is down here, to Giant, Skelly Roy, Farmer Dad, Moondog, Hodge, Stu, Alien Jam, and I Modding, Irish Connor, DMI 20mm in Normandy, uh, Bonaz, uh, Raging Reaper, and Flores down at the bottom. It doesn't actually say special thanks to those, but I'm assuming that's the kind of the credits there at the bottom. Um, kind of appears to be that way. But yeah, let's go and take a look here. Uh, so again, we are in new farmer mode. What we start off with a new farm mode is all these fields up here and this kind of starting farm with some whole bunch of stuff on it. Very compact in there. Um, we're down here right now. Um, so this map's got quite a bit going on. We'll probably end up buying a truck right here and driving down here and then back up around, maybe up to there and then up around here. And we'll probably miss a bunch of stuff. But it looks like these are kind of our various farms that we have. I'm sure I'm going to miss stuff on here, guys, just, to, just an FYI. I am going to for sure miss stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, so that's what we got going on as far as that goes. We do have, um, go down to contracts here. We do have contracts in all the fields here. Um, I'm going to scroll through these real quick just to show off all the things and where they get sold off and stuff like that um, on the map when you start out here. So I'm going to scroll through these. If you want to skip ahead because you don't really care where things are taken, uh, feel free to do that. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to read them all as I'm going, so if you wanna know where a specific crop is taken or a specific product is taken, um, just hit the pause button to do that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep, uh, oh, I stopped here a second, I'm switching hands with my coffee, there we go. I'll keep uh, scrolling through here. Um, I'm just gonna take a sip of coffee here and then we'll kinda go from there, but we're almost done already getting through all these. But yeah, and this is just, again, give you an idea where everything's at. So there we go, that's everything. I'm going down from there, we have a lot of stuff in, in new farm mode, looks like some stuff needs some help. Um, we start with $100,000 in new farm mode. Um, we do have several animal pens. We have two cow barns with automatic feed uh, systems in them, horse barn large, sheep barn large, and chicken coop on there. Um, again, contracts mention that. No starting production facilities. Um, and it doesn't look like there, oh, there are collectibles. There are 20 collectibles on the map as well, it looks like. So we'll turn that off and turn, the, where's it at? That's off as well. But yeah, we're down here at the store starting out. So we'll just take a look around here. If we go back up to the map, um, we do have a production facility, the sugar mill, um, here by our, the store over here, right over this way, actually. Just around the corner, I think. There's a gas station there, and then up this way, sugar mill right here, and a deer. Garden deer, trying to get the sugar. All right, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Bear trigger there, and shop trigger here. Good looking shop, actually, the R-Man Motors, I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase ourselves a truck. I think we already own one. Uh, yeah, it looks like we own one of these, but. We're just gonna buy one to help us get around the map a little quicker. All right, there we go. Hop in our truck over here. And then other stuff in this area, we do have a little bit past that. We have the biomass heating pad, debris crusher, and Stu's grain elevator. Um, that's actually past all that stuff that we just looked at over there. Uh, but that stuff is in the back. I'm not gonna show off every single specific detail. I wanna mostly give you guys a quick tour of where everything's at. Otherwise, I'll be honest with you guys, this tour will be uh, six hours long if I show everything off. So we're gonna try to quickly kind of show off the map and some of the details on it here. Um, so that's kind of the purpose of my map tours, give you a quick overview of the map so you know if it's something you kind of want to play on or not. Oh, geez, well, we're gonna head on there. Well, um, so I was trying to drive on the uh, right side of the road. I need to be on the left. BGA just to the left here. A lot of trees in the map, but the map does have a lot of really nice detail on it as well. So uh, definitely a really cool map here. Um, up here on the left, we have, looks like two farms potentially up here. We might hop out and take a look at those. Uh, do we have two? Oh, just one, just one. This big old farm here. Uh, manure extension heap there. Now, the other thing too I actually wanna do as we're going around, because I think it'll be worthwhile, is buying the farm. So we see if there's any animal pens that show up. Um, so we'll buy this um, and see if... Uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff showed up when I bought that. Uh, so we have silos, fertilizer tanks, all sorts of stuff there. And actually, as far as the layout of the farm, because there are so many of them, we're just gonna hit those on the fly over as far as taking a look at all the layout. We will point out what is at each farm as we go around. Uh, but again, there's seven farms total according to the description. So that's a lot of farms to take a look at and cover some ground on. Um, just here on the right, we have the farmer's market. So we can keep going past that. I just wanna confirm in here. Farmer's market sell point, 
Oop, there we go, right there. Oh, Maple Experts, it says actually, not Farmer's Market. So that's my bad on that one. And down here at the bottom of the map, we have the bakery production facility, which we're actually gonna loop around here, mostly because we need to turn around anyways. Sorry for some of the rough angles as far as my camera goes. It's a little bit difficult to get around some of these areas. And I like that they didn't just slap in the standard bakery. It looks a little bit different than your normal bakery. I like that they changed it up quite a bit, or at least a little bit, no, maybe not quite a bit, but they changed it up. Now, the other thing I'm curious about is we see these, these like kind of poles in here. If we own this field, for example, and we own, I don't know, a, uh, is it like the alien gym setup? Is that why the alien gyms get credited in here? I don't know. Where's the, uh, yeah, let's buy one of these. You guys probably know where I'm going with this. Is this something we can, ah, we don't have access to this land? How do we buy this? Maybe we don't have access to it. They said everything was pretty customizable, so apparently we can't get access to those. But yeah, it just kind of looked with the trees in there like we might be able to do something about that. But I could just be completely wrong. And I could be doing it wrong if I am, or there's something part of it I'm missing or something like that. Just let me know down in the comments. But anyhow, that was worth a shot, I suppose. Um, we are going to drive, if we take a look at the map here, we're going to drive all the way kind of past where we started there and continue on our tour around this map. Um, we'll hit most things on the drive through here, and then we will... Uh, take a look from there. Now we will take a look at, uh, on foot, we will take a look at the starting farm, but all the additional farms, we're just gonna uh, take a look at um, on the flyover and we'll just kind of see what they have there when we do our drive over or drive through. Drive by, not a drive by, I should call it that. <laughs> Anyhow, we're passing the shop now. So um, just down over here, there's another farm and I just smacked into that car. That was a very slow collision. I'm gonna hit, okay, I need to just, for this map, I need to turn traffic off, I think, or I'm gonna, we're gonna be smacking into cars left and right uh, traffic, where are we at? Let's turn you off, otherwise I am gonna be really struggling, since I'm already struggling now. So I'm gonna be trying to talk about what we got going on as well as us driving around here. So uh, yeah, we need to be careful. So this looks like a little path that goes down here. Uh, this path on the left looks like it's gonna head, actually just heads into that field there. Curious, this farm down, where are we at? Yeah, this farm down here. Oh yeah, it does go around. So this is how you get to this farm. Uh, we'll go ahead and purchase this one. And then you can see we have the Pharma 18, Karma 16, Manure Heap Extension, and then the medium petrol tank for that farm down there. Um, now up here we have our, our main farm. So we're gonna get out on foot and take a look at that one. Um, I'm just gonna park near the entrance here and then we'll run up the driveway is what we'll do. Make it a little bit easier for us. I do like these little stone walls going into here, but yeah, we'll run up the driveway. A nice long driveway. Very, very long driveway, I should add. And then we finally get to the farm right in here. So we got a farmhouse on the, on the right here, but uh, before we get too far, let's take a look at our starting equipment. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Small tractors, we have Fent Vario 314, a Massey Ferguson MF 5S145, and one of my favorite tractors, the Buer uh, 6105. Medium tractors, we got the Valtra 8750, wheel loader, the Treon 1511. We also have uh, the pickup we bought and then we started with this pickup. Stone picker, nice stone picker there. Small subsoiler, uh, small seed tank there. Uh, we have a lime and fertilizer spreader and a fertilizer spreader. We have a um, roller here, maxi roll. We have a good mower set up there. It's the ones I'm using in No Man's Land, they're pretty good. Uh, tether there, wind drawer, loading wagon. We got a little mini baler. And we had a mini bale loader, of course, need that. The chainsaw I bought, so you do not start with that. Front loader, and we got front loader tools. We got a bale spike, uh, wheel loader tools. We got a silage fork there. Uh, we got a low loader. And finally, a couple of uh, 10 winkle, excuse me, 10 winkle weights there. So yeah, going around the farm, we have our sleep trigger right here. Beautiful. And then over here, we have, looks like our chickens. So there we go. And we have five total animal pens we need to make sure we hit uh, while we're at this farm, because it has five on it. Um, and then as we continue up the way here, we have these, are these guys, these guys aren't bunker cells, are they? No, they're not. Okay, I just wanted to double check. They kind of look like it. Um, over here we have one of our auto feed cow barns, 700 cows. So that's a big deal there. That's a lot more than you normally have obviously in there. And then right here, it looks like we have a silo where we're at. Yeah, the pharma, the pharma silo right there. Um, continuing through here, it's our auto feed there. More storage, storage. Storage, storage, and storage. And then past here, looks like we got our sheep. Yep, 500, 500 sheep there, good gravy. Lots of sheep, deer, deer. I love the deer, I love seeing them around here. We got our uh, little seed tank here. 
Um, then over here it looks like we have our, our horses, 16 horses there. So that one's standard, not really beefed up or anything like that. Of course, riding that many horses, if you had 500 horses or something crazy like that, would be wild. This one for sure is going to be a bunker silo here. Yep, there we go. And then if we walk, work our way back down this way, go this way, gets us out to this area here. We got a petrol tank there, or fuel tank. I just call them petrol because they say petrol. And then we got a fertilizer silo there. Um, and then we have our other cow barn, 850. How come this one's different? Anyhow, um, that's what you got there. And that's all of our animal pens we've seen. And then this is again another bunker silo just got stuck on for a second. Looping around there. What a cool farm. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on in this farm. Yeah, that's pretty beefy. All right, let's get back out of here and get back on our our maiden voyage across the world or something. I don't know what you can call it, whatever you want. Um, and I need to go to work here too. I'm gonna make sure I get this done before I go to work. But uh, anyhow, uh, back in our truck. So again, we took a look at that. That's the kind of the starting farm. Um, we'll head up here, down here this way. We wanna head down that way? Yeah, we probably should. We'll take a left and head down this way. And then we'll probably cut across the land here and then head up that way. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, so we'll do that. Now, we're going to pass that. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to take a look at that a little bit differently. But yeah, we'll get it figured out. So we're going to take this left right here. This is going to head down towards uh, kind of what's on the bottom portion of the map here. And while we're driving in here, I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. Right not to get us crashed too bad. Just because there's no cars on the road doesn't mean I'm not going to crash again. That's for sure. Now, just here on the left here, set my coffee down. Just here on the left through this, it's kind of hard to see in there, but we do have a cereal factory and a grain mill in there uh, for us. So if you wanted to do some of that stuff, you can go in there and use that. This would actually be, honestly, this is a cool, this is a cool multiplayer map. This is a really cool multiplayer map. This would be cool to play in single player too, to be honest. But um, right here we have the animal dealer and probably like the bale sell point. Yeah, Reaper's Farmer's Market and then uh, Moondog's Farm Market. So we have Farmer Market sell points down here. And then if we continue down the beaten path this way, And around this corner here, and God forbid I get another drink of my coffee. I'd probably have to put it down as soon as we were about to hit something again. Yeah. Yep. Quick drink of coffee. Ooh, that pole didn't have a collision on it. Thank goodness. And then right up this way here, right up on the left, we have a spinnery. You can see kind of up in there. That's a spinnery. So it looks like that's the, yep, that's the way in there. So spinnery production facility there. And then on the right here, we have actually another farm. We go into the menu here. We have another farm right down here. So this is a... Let's take a look at what they got here. Okay, so they got a lot of stuff going on here. Another farmhouse, uh, manure extension, stainless steel, karma 16. I, I'm surprised there's not animal pens that are showing up. They kind of look like that's an animal pen to me. And why would you have a manure heap extension there? Um, anyhow, might be something you have to do as far as that goes. It's just weird that it's not showing up. You might have to save and come back in or something weird like that. Sometimes they do that. But uh, as far as farms go, that's one, two, three. Um, and four we've taken a look at so far. Uh, so five, six, and seven. So yeah, there's the other three there. They're fairly obvious in the map, which is kind of nice. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where they're at. Um, and then down here at the very bottom, we don't need to drive all the way down there. There's a great processing facility down there. So um, we'll actually, we'll try to cut through here. See if we can't get out. You're not gonna be able to see anything for a second. Oop, I hit, of course I hit the one tree going out that way. Get out to field 24 here. Beautiful. All right. And then we're just going to head up here um, just to save us a little bit of time. Otherwise, we'd have to drive down there. You have to drive all the way back out the way we came. So just to get us up towards like field 31 area. Um, and then we can head up that road and take a look at a couple other things here. And then again, we'll finish out with a flyover and take a look at all the farms from above. I am glad all these uh, bushes don't have collisions because that, I mean, that could become obnoxious sometimes. So you can kind of play. I like that because you can kind of play as realistic as you want. If you're like, okay, well, I'm going to play as if there are collisions there then you stay away from them. Otherwise, you don't have to do that. So kind of give you a little bit more freedom um, to go about your, your business with all that. I like the light poles don't have it either. It's very crash anti, it's very crash friendly as far as it, it won't let me crash as easily, I guess. Um, so right here where we're at. Um, now get into this farm. I'm trying to find out, it looks like that's the way in right there. So we kind of, we didn't really go past it. So we'll take a look at that real quick. We'll buy that. Because it kind of looks like it's part of it. We'll buy that. Uh, well, that made the chickens show up. Maybe there's another. Maybe if you buy that, the animals show up. Chickens there, at least. Chickens are separate. Chickens there. Farmhouse, liquid fertilizer tank, stainless steel, karma 16, another silo, and a petrol tank. Now, let's go back down to these other farms real quick. Are there any? That's probably going to make something show up. Now, does that make the cow show up? 
Okay, yeah, so there we go. We're getting cow barns and stuff, but uh, oh, I didn't want to jump over there, uh, but that's fine. We'll hop back into our, our pickup truck. So yeah, I'm probably missing some animal pens on here. Again, um, just to kind of give you guys an overview of the map. That's the purpose of this. So again, dairy and carpentry here, and up here we have um, uh, Piglet's Supermarket, and then we go up towards the next couple of farms. So we'll keep driving up this way. Sorry, I muted the mic there for a second. I had to sneeze. So Picklet's Farmer's Market is going to be right here on the right. Boy, it is hard to see some of the stuff through the trees in here, but it's kind of nice. Kind of like that. A lot of trees on here. And then right here on the left, we have another farm. Another farm right here. Uh, if we hop out, we can purchase. And that there. And take a look. We got cows, pigs, all sorts of stuff. Makes sense. We're right near the uh, Picklet's Farm Market. So that does seem fairly reasonable to have that there. And then I think we just have the last farm up here towards the top, and then we'll do a flyover and take a look at everything from above. And we'll spend a little bit more time at the farms uh, doing it that way, just so you guys can kind of get an overview. So if you hopped on here with friends, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do as far as all that goes, but it looks like a pretty good setup. This farmyard I actually kind of like because it's more compact. You don't have as much farmyard to manage. I um, mean, kind of do your thing. And actually, it comes with that up over there. Yeah, a house up over there. We do have a tailor shop and a oil mill up the road as well. But yeah, you got everything you need there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop out, and I think we're just gonna jump into um, the flyover mode. So yeah, this is actually probably my favorite, one of my favorite farm yards here, is because it's very kind of compact, very simple. Uh, so I like that. We're just gonna backtrack the way we came. This farm yard over here, this is the one with the pig. Yeah, the pigs are here, because that's where the piglets are at. Um, but yeah, nice little farm yard. I uh, can see your pig pen here, it looks like, and all that good stuff, so yeah. I do like the various farmyards because you could pick with your friends if you wanted to play a multiplayer. The piglets area there, which I, I think, I feel like if I was at a store, I'd want all these trees cleared so people can see the store a little bit better. Just strictly from a, <laughs> just a point of advertisement. And we got a couple of production facilities here that we talked about. We have uh, um, the carpentry and the dairy down here. And then we do have this farm over here, which we didn't really get to yet here. So this farm looks like this is kind of your entrance going in this way. Uh, so yeah, good looking farm here. Again, you got chickens at least here. We're missing anything, potentially. Yeah, also have horses there. So yeah, a couple different things going on there. Head down here, this goes back out. We kind of cut across these fields here. And down here, we do have another nice little farm. I also kind of like this one because it's kind of set down here and kind of more secluded. I don't know, I'm just like dreaming in my head of playing on these farms because they look kind of nice. So anyhow, we head up through here. And again, passing by, we pass by a couple of different things on there. Test side the spinnery there. And again, the oil or the grape processing unit. We'll actually go fly down there, take a look at it, just to show you guys where it's at and how it's set up. Great processing unit down there, really compacted into there, into the woods there. Definitely need some forestry on this map to help open it up a little bit. We do have the sawmill down here, which I didn't even mention. Sawmill down here. Gotta have one of those. Nice little river there, or a little uh, river cheese, a little pond or lake type thing there. And then right here. We have the animal dealers and stuff right back there. And then right here below us, we have um, the cereal factory and the grain mill. Heading up over here, we have another farm here, which this farm is looking quite nice as well. And we don't know what animals this one has, so we didn't buy everything. So we'll buy everything. And we can take a look a little bit better. Sheep, sheep, and pigs there. So in our pigs and a couple sheep areas there. Kind of the town area, or more of the town area. Um, another farm over here. More productions and different stuff along the bottom there. But yeah, kind of a cool looking uh, map. I like kind of how it folds together. It'd be fun to be on here with multiple people. Um, and right here is our starting farm, where we're at right here. So you can see that one's kind of got a lot. It seems like a lot going on, a little bit more confusing. But it's kind of a bigger farm too. So kind of depends on what you're looking for. Out this way, just a lot of fields out this way. Down below us, we're up over here. So we're going to pass this up over flying up to the top here. We've got again the oil mill, tailor shop, and we're heading back down to where we started. So yeah. There you guys go, that is uh, the map there. I like this one, uh, Maple something or other. I can't remember the name now, of course. It just happens that way. But anyhow, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.